Hi everyone, my name is Larry. Welcome to the channel if you're new. I'm on uh, Vulture Mine Road, which is just south of Wickenburg, Arizona. I'm trying to find a place here on some state trust land to stay the night. And I kind of have the holiday spirit tonight, so I think tonight's going to be pretty special. So stick around. Merry Christmas, baby. Is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Every Christmas morning, the snowman's dusting off his hat, putting on the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. I think I found a nice spot for tonight. Nobody else is around. It's gonna be a beautiful sunset. Can't complain. Can't complain at all. I reckon it's about dinner time. I won't head in and get some french fried taters. Mm. Maybe a little buttered steak. What you got in there is good to eat. The french fries are pretty good. French fried potatoes? Yep, french fries. It's a New York strip steak with some garlic and rosemary and thyme. And then I'm gonna make some homemade french fries. Frazier, are you ready for the holidays? Nathan, are you ready for the holidays? You would not believe how good it smells in here. With that rosemary and thyme, um, it's kind of woodsy, steaky, garlicky smell. It's just, everything is remarkable. I mean, it's hard to explain. Too bad you weren't here. But I'll let you know how good it tastes. These french fries are unbelievable. Mm. So much flavor. Best steak I've ever had. I'm a little biased, but it's the best steak I've ever had.
Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old? I cannot believe how friggin' cold it is this morning. I can't believe I'm out here camping in the middle of December. Just kidding. <laughs> I love camping in the desert. Well, I love being in the desert and camping in the desert during the winter. It's so nice. Um, I don't know how all the rest of you guys are doing it up further north. Um, that's way too cold for me. <laughs> Anyways, I warm it up a little bit and then I'm going to get some coffee started. Real quick, guys. I have a story I need to tell you guys real quick and then we'll get back to the video. So a couple months back I went camping and uh, normally when I get to a, a boondocking site, I get out and I take the dogs and I put them inside the camper here while I'm getting you know, the propane and everything turned on and, and camp set up. So this one particular day, I ended up leaving them inside the cab of the truck while I was doing this, which I'm glad I did because come to find out when I turned on the propane and the water heater and all that stuff, when I came into the camper, it was so full of propane on the inside of the camper that I couldn't even breathe. I had to open the, up the doors and windows and you know let all the air out and, and get the propane out of here and i was i was worried about it exploding and i'm so glad i did not have the dogs inside the camper at that point because i don't think they would have made it so since then every single time i get to a campsite i always always check all my you know propane fittings at least the ones that i can i can reach and get to and uh because you know these campers they move around when you're going down the road and they they uh, have potential to loosen up any connections with propane and could cause a leak. So I had this company called Top Test reach out and they sent me a combustible gas leak detector. And now this is what I use every single time I get to a campsite. I go through and I check the little connections for all the propane. It only takes a couple minutes. There's a one back in the back here. I'll, I'll show you guys what it sounds like. So right now it's on. I have it next to the burner and then I'll crack on the gas without lighting the actual burner and then you'll see what it looks like. Instantly the alarm starts sounding. This is definitely a must to get. Even if you have any kind of combustible gas stove or anything like that at your house, just grab one of these. Like I said, they're inexpensive. Just takes a few minutes once every month or so and check your lines make sure you don't have any leaks that'll save you some money and possibly your life so check them out i'm going to put the link below in the description and uh i definitely recommend these things anyways we'll get back to the video made a turkey and egg sandwich for breakfast this morning not gonna lie since i didn't record it i cooked the eggs in the microwave <laughs> so i, I kind of cheated but um but you know camping i don't want to dirty up another dish i did enough dishes last night but uh you know i would love to sit around here all day and enjoy this place i really do like this this spot that i'm in right now but uh i've got so much to do today I got to go winterize my boat and change my oil in my truck and my fuel filter in my truck and um, I have to take this camper off for a few days for work because I need the truck bed for supplies and I just have so much to do today so unfortunately I can't enjoy this beautiful scenery for too long but I'm going to enjoy it while I can you know. I feel like I got some hungry boys. You guys hungry? I think I have the only dogs in the world that don't care about food. I'm out of dog food right now. So they're getting a mixture of chicken and hard boiled egg and some turkey. Jingle 
Well, if you made it this far, then uh, you're my favorite subscriber. And with that being said, if you're interested in one of these top test combustible gas detectors, just write down in the comments below that you're my favorite subscriber and I'll pick one of you guys at random and I'll contact you and uh, send you one of these things for free at no cost to you, obviously. That way uh, you can test it out and use it on your own RV. I appreciate you guys all. Thank you for sticking it out. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye. Christmas cake and then we go skating on the frozen lake saying hi to every friendly face and later we warm up by the fireplace